canvas. I um, wanted to show you a little bit this morning. I was working on one of my boards and I'm going to use the um, Medela stencils. So I just want to kind of get and show you how to use those and a couple techniques that I use. Um, you know, using stencils is always hard. Make sure that, you know, you don't get the, run, the running through, bleeding through and stuff, but I usually use the brushes. Um, you can use sponges and you can use um, other things, but um, I find the brush seems to work best. And one of the things I use, these great big stencils, they typically use them on walls and floors and stuff, but I use these pretty, they're pretty neat for a big snowflake um, on these boards that I do. Um, sometimes I put the whole thing on there, like up towards the top, I might use most of that. And sometimes I just use like some of the edge. Um, so what I wanted to show you, I'll show you a, a smaller section first. This one here, I just taped off around what I actually want to use. And so if I want to just use a certain little section of it, I can tape it off. So like this one here, it's got a little tiny little snow, what I think is like a snowflake. So I'm going to actually put that right up in this area right about here so what I usually do when I am using stencils um, I try to make sure that I get them secure as possible tape them down the best I can with this being extra I can actually tape around it and right on you can use painters tape I just use masking because I'm usually uh, not leaving it on that long and I take it off gently <clears throat> but I put that around uh, if you're using letters or something, you, you know, you want to take the edges down, keep it nice and sturdy, keep it from moving. But I want to make sure that that's pretty well flattened down all over. And I've taped around to this section here. I only want to put this part right here. Now I've mixed some paint. Um, I've got white with a little bit of uh, a light blue and I also have this really cool extreme glitter you can buy it anywhere Walmart or anywhere I've got the silver one this time you get the kind that just has the glitter and no color but I mix that with my white and but when I do my little snowflakes when I'm doing the large ones I usually start with a little more blue in the very center and you want to get that on your brush put some on your brush but you want to do what's called offloading so you get the paint on and you come over here and you want to kind of take some of that paint off. So there's enough on the brush and I just start up and down in the center. Just keep your, your movements up and down, straight up and down. And I got that center there. So then I want to go with my lighter color. I want the outer edge of it to be more of a white color. So again, I'm just tapping up and down and I kind of do it a little bit light um, at first get that and then you may have to maybe you um, wanted a really strong color on my snowflakes I don't have to have that strong but you can put this on and then come back and add another layer to make it you know a little bit brighter so that for that one there is just a little tiny one and then we're just going to Gently pull that up and voila, you got your first little snowflake. And that's for the small one. So this particular one, I want to have um, some nice big, maybe like right in, right in this area. I mean, uh, you, what do you think? Something like that. Because I think I put a great big one on top. So I want this one to be just halfway. So this is the part where you're going to have to make sure you try to get it taped down securely as you know good as possible. And since this is going over the edge, and I'm going to be using all of this part of the stencil, I can't really even tape it down like I did with that smaller one. So I have to just do all the edges and try to get it nice and secure. Keep any pops where it's popping up or anything. Keep that down. <clears throat> I just go a little crazy with it, but that's okay. 
like I said, I just want to make sure it's taped as much as possible. Sometimes I put it underneath like a section to keep it a little more secure. Um, I've done that before too. So basically, that's it. Now one of the things with these, when you, it still kind of pops up right there in the middle. So what I do is I will hold, my, this is why I get paint over my fingers. I will hold this with my fingers right where um, it's popping up and stuff, wherever I'm tapping to make sure uh, that it all stays down. So again, put the paint on your brush, you know, get it loaded and I'm offloading it. So you don't have a big glob of paint on there. And my, again, my snowflakes, I like to have the centers a little more blue. This, these are nice of these Medela uh, stencils. You can paint different colors around them, give them really cool effects. But I'm just gonna start right here on my edge. I got these little tiny holes, so up and down movements. And as I move around the stencil, I'm putting my fingers, as you can see, put my fingers in there to hold that stencil down right where I'm tapping so that it stays down. If not, you're gonna get some bleeding, um, bleeding out around your stencil there. And as I move around, I'll just, I'll move my fingers around. Again, that's why, like I said, why I get so much paint on me. If you ever see me around the house or just running around, you'll see I have all this paint on my fingers all the time. Under my nails, I try to get it out. Okay. Now, as I get that there, I'm gonna move on and hold that down a little more. I'm gonna move a little more into some of the white with the silver and work my way out. And as I'm gonna put it like a second, a little bit of a second coat on this, so I'm just gonna get it lightly coated. Again, tap up and down. Hold that stencil down right where you're tapping. Offloading that brush. These little tiny holes is something else. Just tapping up and down, straight up and down. And I'm adding a little bit, if I said that white as I go out, a little bit of that blue still in there, but mostly it's white now. Tap, put my fingers down, hold that stencil down nice and secure. Some of these more intricate um, stencils, you tend to, you can have more bleeding from them because they are so intricate and hard to keep all the little pieces down there. one of those things that um, you just got to take your time with too. I mean, you could take a, a roller, <laughs> believe me, I tried that, take a roller to it and sometimes it works, but um, didn't really work very well for these types of stencils. You get a blobby mess because they end up bleeding. Move around, Get more of that white. As I roll it sideways to get some of that excess off of there, tap that off. Don't worry about getting your fingers on the actual parts where the stencil's going through because you're going to be stenciling paint over top of that. Just about any of these kind of stencils can be used as a snowflake. You know, snowflakes aren't not one and the same, so. That's kind of a nice thing. Just tap up and down. Offload that brush. That's the really important part. If you start stenciling with a ton of paint on your brush, you're gonna get the bleed through for sure. And it's gonna look like a blobby mess. You're not gonna get the delicate that you want. You don't have a stenciling brush, this happens to be one, but if 
you don't have one, you can take an old brush you have, a nice big brush or small, depending on what you want to use, and you can just cut it, cut that end off and make this nice flat tip in here. And that'll work, make a nice stiff, you need it kind of stiff. That'll work for a stenciling brush. These tend to leave some hairs. Got to catch those hairs. Okay. And like I said, you can do some really cool effects. You could put some purple color in here and then, you know, shade them out with some blues and whites and whatever. You know, if you're doing something else, you could do fall. For fall stenciling, you can use these too for fall. And um, do your reds and orange yellows and even a little brown. Fade that out towards the edge and it makes a beautiful, beautiful fall stencil. Running it right to the edge of my board here. Okay. And now I'm going to take a little bit more of that blue. Make it a little bit, a little bit darker. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to come back in here and I want to just, I'm going to lightly touch up my blue. I want to fade it out a little bit more into that white. There we go. And hold that stencil down. There we go. And then on the very edge of my stencil, I want to get a little more of just plain white. It's got a little bit of that sparkly silver in it, but on my like my very edges, very tip edges. I want those to be nice and bright white. So I'm just coming up doing them. I'm not covering it all, but just getting that extra little punch of white on there. Working in a little bit. Not too much. And keep that graduated. Okay. So then put my brush down. I'm going to wipe my fingers a little bit so when I pull this off, I don't hopefully mess it up. All right. And just gently pull that up. Set that aside there for a minute. And voila. Now, what do you think? You got two nice, nice little um, snowflakes here on there. Got a small one and then the larger one. And no no bleeding through, so that's the best way that I know how to get your stencils to work the best. So I hope this helped you out, um, works out, and I, I hope you keep this in mind because I'm actually gonna have a snowman that I'm gonna be doing here in the future that we're gonna use these for making some beautiful snowflakes. So you'll get your opportunity to come to one of the parties and do that. And uh, so that'll be, you know, a lot of fun. And, of course, hope to see you on October 3rd when we have the Hootiful Harvest uh, coming up at Eagle Sticks. Hopefully, you'll sign up for that, and I'll see you there. Um, so, have a great day, and enjoy your Tuesday, and I will see you again soon, and have a great day.